The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Hi, Dr. Rita Cashman. Welcome to the uh, show today. Uh, this is our Diabetes uh, Stopping Preventing Reversion Diabetes Show. I have a great guest with me today, Dr. Malta Ahmed from Ohio. He's a family physician, board certified uh, in uh, obesity, so he understands uh, diabetes a, a great deal, which, which is related a lot to diabetes. Not every case, but a lot of them. We're trying to educate the public on how to stop it uh, prevent it in the, in the first place, how to reverse it. It's reversible. I, a lot of uh, my experience, uh, the majority of diabetics I speak to, uh, what do you think, Dr. Ahmed? They don't realize they could get rid of the disease in a month or two, not every case, but 90% of the time. Uh, is that your experience too, that, that they don't know that? I think many of them have that assumption that once they're diagnosed with diabetes, and the rest of their life, they will be diabetic. Yeah. That's their assumption. Yeah, and uh, it's an assumption. <coughs> and, uh, and sometimes the providers give you that idea too. Yes. Because I speak to you know, some physicians and nurse practitioners and PAs, and they think, oh, it's just a matter of script to the ill. Yeah. No, no, especially since it's that, not that hard to get rid of it. Uh, and and uh, the science I is there. You eat right, nutrient-dense food, 30, 60 days, it's goodbye. As a matter of fact, uh, what's been fascinating to me, and I've learned more about it over the years, is that our biome, you know, our bacteria in our gut, uh, trillions, trillions, much more DNA there than our body, but the average, which determine our metabolism, you know, what type of food you're eating, uh, determines the type of bacteria you get. They run the metabolism of, of, your, of your body. Uh, even they make most of the serotonin that's made in your gut that makes you feel good or bad, the amount of it uh, that you have. That each bacteria, this is the remarkable thing. That's why I think this can be changed so quickly. The life of a bacteria is 20 minutes. I read that. Amazing. 20 minutes. So uh, the bacteroides, uh, permacutes that are in a, a body, the ratio, I mean, there's many different types, uh, a thousand different types, but those are the 80% of them, are those two which I mentioned, can be changed by the type of food you're eating, what, t what you're drinking. If you're drinking mainly a sugar, for example, a tremendous uh, effect on them. So when Mark Hyman says, when Mark Hyman says uh, that, that if you're gonna eat nutrient-dense whey, which is I'm gonna teach you to, today, is that your blood sugars will change within hours, uh, and you may need to get off oral medication uh, and maybe even uh, insulin within a few days because your blood sugar will be stopping. So let your doctor know you're gonna change the way you eat uh, and, and check your blood sugars more often so you can act on that, that you don't take insulin, your blood sugar is 40, okay? And uh, uh, for example, because that can be uh, deadly, Mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, so you have to check yourself more frequently. Uh, uh, and uh, about many different ways of, of eating, but the quickest way to get rid of it, eat nutrient-dense food, low-carb way of eating. Is that mm -hmm. right, Dr. Amla? Yep. We've settled on that. I mean, we can discuss fats a little bit here and there, but, but low-carbohydrates, because cause the sugar gets converted to triglycerides, a fat, and that's what's on your receptors that causes insulin resistance. Insulin cannot get sugar in the cell for energy, and as a result, 
sugar level goes up because you're running out of insulin. The pancreas is, is almost dead from working so hard trying to get its job done. Now you've got uh, uh, diabetes. Uh, and the nutrient way of uh, eating is the quickest way to turn all this around. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, the low carb way is the best way, but uh, what I don't recommend, what Dr. Ahmed doesn't recommend, and Dr. Furman doesn't recommend, is a diet. It's a different, eat different food than no diet. Foods full of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, they're foods of color. They're foods of color. And you can add mushrooms and onions. Uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, have color to them. But if you eat 70, 80 percent that way, we're not even saying 100 percent. Would you agree? Yeah. I mean, you can eat a little bit of meat. And we agree on that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, eating meat seven days a week may not do it, but, you know, a couple of days a week. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't, we don't like to call it vegan, the way you eat no meat or uh, or necessarily vegetarian. So Dr. Fruman calls it nutritarian. Well, I think it's a good term. Mm -hmm. I consider myself, would you, are you, you a nutritarian? <laughs> I would <laughs> or, think so, yes. Yeah, uh, pretty nutritious yeah. food. So yeah. we're in agreement. Nutrient dense <clears throat> eating. Uh, and Dr. Fruman has written many books. End of Diabetes, <clears throat> Dr. Joel Fruman, <clears throat> a very famous uh, uh, book, End of Vast Disease. Incidentally, <clears throat> I'd like to remind you, he's coming uh, to uh, town uh, on the, yeah, and he'll be speaking at the First Assembly Church a week from Saturday. Go online, you can register, I think it's 45 bucks, but I believe if your life's at stake, I think it might be a good idea. And, and I'll be there, actually, uh, and this book, which I just showed you, has got my name on the back, too. I reviewed it uh, for the publisher and him, and we, I think we sold two million copies. Yeah, we, it was New York Times bestseller, that, for two, two and a half years, and so have some of his other books. He wrote it. I didn't write it. I reviewed it, and I was honored to review it uh, because uh, it's what I, uh, what I teach. Matter of fact, to get rid of diabetes, you know, uh, you know, who likes to read a lot? I do, but a lot of people don't, <laughs> and, uh, and I don't blame them. And uh, so he wrote a cookbook called Quick Fix. Mm. Uh, you can get it Amazon or uh, Barnes and, and Noble, so people like to read. I tell them, get that book, get that cookbook, uh, because in it he has smoothies, uh, breakfasts, lunches, dinners, beautiful pictures. If you just read that book and just look at the beautiful recipes, eat all you want, odds are 90% chance your type diabetes will be gone in a month or two. Can it get simpler than that? I don't think you can get any simpler than that. Take a walk a day, but exercise is maybe 10, 20 percent of it. It's a type of food you're eating. Mm -hmm. The type of food that you're eating. And to make it even simpler, I recommend uh, have a smoothie every day. You get recipes in his book or online, Cashman Facebook. Uh, because if you, because they're full of nutrients. What, what, what a, uh, a Vitamix machine or uh, uh, Ninja machine, what they do is they break up the cellular membrane of, the, of those uh, vegetables and release all the nutrients, and you'll be having a huge nutrient boost, boost before you start the day. I guarantee you, you won't be hungry for quite a while, because I have one every day. I have one this morning. Mm -hmm. Rarely do I not uh, have a smoothie. And to get you yourself and your whole family doing it, you're in a healthy family. You're in a healthy family. Let's go through his book a little bit, uh, The Nutritarian Handbook, uh, a very simple uh, again, a Dr. Uh, Furman uh, way of, uh, of, of going. And, and, and what he's saying, let's go through his table of contents a little bit. Uh, America has a health care crisis. We yep. agree. Mm -hmm. uh, you said two out of three people at Cooper Farms, like any a, other any, town. Any of the factories, mm -hmm. two out of three have insulin Metabolic. resistance. Mm -hmm. Metabolic uh, syndrome. Yeah, a, a metabolic syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, indicating uh, pre-diabetes mm -hmm. or, or diabetes, mm -hmm. and uh, we spoke about blood tests. Yes. If you want to keep it simple, what, TRI, HDL ratio, mm -hmm. um, maybe a CRP to look for inflammation, mm -hmm. or fat profile, mm -hmm. maybe a glucose tolerance test, and, and you're there. 
I like your glucose, glucose tolerance test with serum insulins and blood sugar. Mm -hmm. Catch yourself very early. Then you get to lose maybe five, 10 pounds, bang, it's gone. Wow, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. And uh, that if it's happening. Yeah. If, you, happening. If, I, if I say to you, uh, they're going to allow you just to order two tests, what would you order? <laughs> <laughs> One will be sugar. The blood, blood sugar. Glucose, because even if it's a random, not fast, yeah. you, you give some idea yeah. where, where that person is. And, and the lipid profile. And the lipid profile. Okay. It's cheap. Tell you where, where the fats are located because yeah. they, remember, they help determine mm -hmm. uh, insulin resistance. <coughs> One out of two people uh, uh, in, this, in the world almost, except mm -hmm. for there are still a lot of vegetarian countries, no doubt about it, but of the Western nations, let's say that, uh, the majority, uh, half are pre diabetic or diabetic. Just think of that. And the, the diseases associated with that. Uh, and and a lot has to do with the type of food, but also weight. Although the other toffees, they're tall on the outside, but fat on the ins thin on the outside, but fat on the inside. So it's your blood work that counts. Uh, they may have fat in the liver, but look perfectly thin. So mm -hmm. you got to get some blood tests done. And uh, uh, so it's it, it's an epidemic. We should be paying, to me, more attention to it. Don't you think? I mean. It's mm -hmm. a national emergency. Yes. You know, we worry about the Ebola virus and all these different things. Uh, this is an epidemic. Our government needs to step up to bat uh, and get to work uh, at, at the school level. Education can do a lot. Uh, William Bennett managed to take the opioid epidemic and cut it in half uh, about 20 years ago through education. Hmm. Yeah, he did. I, I, I read his book. He cut it in half. Mm -hmm through education in the schools and ads on TV. And we, need, we don't need to see the drugs on TV all day like we're seeing all mm -hmm. day long. I mean, let's face it, we're all tired of that, uh, especially all the complications. What well, we need to see how to get healthy. National health emergency. Uh, I think we, they talk about an opiate czar, which we still don't have. We need a diabetic czar. And I know why it's not happening. I'm not kidding myself, lobbyist. Uh, the, the lobbyists even support the price of sugar. Yes. Bad, bad, bad. Sad, sad, sad. The government's doing it, uh, and they, need, they should be leading this fight instead of just Dr. Ahmed and I. We're about it around here <laughs> <laughs> on TV about it and passionate about it. Uh, so becoming a, a nutritarian is what we'd like you to think about doing maybe a, a smoothie, but you learn about nutrient-dense uh, uh, food, foods of color, like kale, uh, and, and what Dr. Uh, Furman does, he puts numbers on it, okay? Uh, he calls them Andy score, aggregate nutrient, aggregate nutrient density index, Andy scores, and uh, like uh, uh, kale uh, w w would be a thousand points, white bread, Ten <laughs> uh, fruits, although there's some fructose in them, because of fiber, you know, maybe thirty or so. Okay, uh, rice, uh, you'd be amazed. It's around uh, uh, around eighty out of a hundred. Pretty rich sugar. Yeah. Brown rice, you say, well, it's a lot lower. No, not no, a lot lower. Same. Black rice, there's black rice, around thirty. Oh, okay. okay. You can get it at a <coughs> at a uh, health food store. And he would look, and uh, so, and so a smoothie. Uh, so you want to keep it simple. So we save a smoothie in the morning. Some oatmeal maybe would be a good choice too. Uh, uh, and to make lunch or dinner, you might even not be the hungry at lunchtime, but at night maybe have a bowl. I like this idea of bowls, and you could. Fill it full of fruit and salads and beans and nuts and and uh, just one on top of the other and fill the whole bowl up. Don't put oil on it because 100% fat. <laughs> okay, maybe some vinegar or something. Uh, and eat all you want. Eat all you want. And because it's so nutrient dense, while you're sleeping, uh, you would be going into 
fat burning, wouldn't you? We spoke about this earlier. You'd be going into fat metabolism and actually lose weight if that's what interests you. Uh, and uh, I think it would be an excellent way uh, to, I think it's fine to eat three meals a day, but if you eat such nutrient dense foods, an oatmeal and a smoothie in the morning like I do, I'm not hungry uh, till late in the afternoon. Maybe have a little snack at that time, uh, an apple or a pear or a peach or something. Uh, and uh, Dr. Fremer would say, a health formula is health, okay? equals nutrients, remember we spoke about that, the vitamins, the minerals, the phytochemicals, the enzymes of our body, no calories in them. Uh, 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 health equals nutrients divided by calories. That's health. And uh, uh, what are the top 25 foods? Let's maybe uh, read off a few. And, uh, and, and we know some of them, and you're, you will recognize some of them. Uh, but uh, kale, remember? He gave it a thousand points. Watercress. Hmm. And some of these you're not familiar with, <laughs> <laughs> even me. <laughs> so I walk <coughs> through a supermarket sometimes with this book. <laughs> so I familiarize myself. But most women could easily, you know, Figure that point out. to them. Uh, Collard, mustard, turnip greens, 1,000 points, okay? Swiss chard, 895. Bok choy, 865. All oh, high pretty nutrient high. foods. Good yeah. food. Cabbage, we all would guess that's pretty good, about 435 to 715. Spinach, 707. So, you know, put spinach in your smoothies or uh, in, your, in your salad. Arugula, which you all heard about, 604. They're full of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. That's a nutrient density. And he studied them very carefully, scientifically. And we have to thank him uh, for that. Boston red green leaf uh, lettuce, about 600. Brussels sprouts, 500. Carrot, 458. Tomato, 186. Berries, about 150. Asparagus, about 205. To give you some idea of the nutrient uh, uh, density that lead to good health. So we put this in your salads and your smoothies. Now I like the idea of smoothies and bowls, for example, or just plain old uh, a salad. Uh, and uh, uh, and, and uh, beans, for example, would be about a 50 to 100. Beans are very healthy uh, because they have in them also protein, complex car carbohydrates, uh, and some vitamins, for example, and fiber. Uh, fiber is your friend. <laughs> fiber is your friend. And we should eat about 50 grams of fiber a day. And the reason being is that as you eat the fiber, it's, it may not be digestible and it'll pass out in the stool. So if you eat 1,000 grams, say, of, of nutrient dense food and it has significant fiber in it, uh, a lot of it will come out in the end. <laughs> you didn't absorb it, no calories. Remember what we're trying to do. It's your biome, your microbiome. This next decade, I think it'll be uh, the, the decade of, of the biome. We've got trillions of bacteria living here, 80% bacteroides and firmicutes, which keep a, they run the metabolism of your body, okay? So what you feed them, you feed them, they help you. The correct food, they help you. You feed them bad food, uh, they can destroy you. Uh, and for example, just taking an antibiotic, like I knew uh, a, a, a friend of mine had a little pimple right here, but instead of putting a salve on there or something or cleansing it, a uh, doctor gave an antibiotic and she took it uh, right away. It destroyed her biome. Then the bad bacteria attacked her and her face was this beautiful woman, uh, very sad. Hmm three weeks of pure infection. Could have killed her, could have gotten under, under the heart valve. So when you take antibiotics, we're sure you need them because they destroy your biome. A lot of our children today, you know, you get a little viral cold, vi uh, antibiotics don't work on viruses, uh, and, and they call in this antibiotic and they take it. And most children today, 
time they reach adulthood, they've been on 20, 30 rounds of antibiotics. Mm. It affects their gut uh, and their health, but it can be life-saving. You know, you get a strep throat for Pete's sake, take some form of penicillin. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, that can go both ways. Nuts are very healthy uh, too because of full of fiber, good proteins, uh, and and uh, so, and and then Dr. Furman too uh, goes to uh, many uh, different levels of nutrition. You know that you want to follow. Some people just can't give up their meat. You know what I mean? So uh, I noticed that conference. I, I went to with him in San Diego, and all week long we ate his type of food and I ate it three days and and I hadn't seen Key West so I asked the wife let's go out eat out and we ate out and I had in front of me the Key West the most beautiful fish you ever saw beautiful fresh vegetables I mean a gorgeous meal and you know what I mean I could not eat a thing I didn't eat a bite now why was that I had met my nutrient need because I ate that food that was part of the conference breakfast lunch and dinner Hmm. Beautiful fish. To this day, I like to have it back. <laughs> it had been caught two hours before, and I had met my nutrient need. So now I'm aware of it. Uh, when I eat nutrient food all day, I, I, I just not not hungry. And uh, and the problem is in America is we eat, we're eating processed food, fast food, mm -hmm. has no nutrients. So we're not a nutrient need has been met, and we keep on eating and eating and eating till our nutrient need is met. And then we finally stop eating. By that time. Uh, we've lost all kind of weight. And, uh, but if you're interested in losing some weight, say, and we don't, it's a judgment-free zone, okay? Remember some people have diabetes without having a weight problem, but if you did, to make, to make it easy, just listen to this. This is kind of interesting. If, if this is your total calorie burn, I want to make sure you can see this, okay, the book. If it's your total calorie burn in a day, about 40% is your basic metabolic rate. That's the energy used up uh, by your brain, heart, lungs, thyroid, liver, pancreas, muscles, doing nothing, okay? All right, if you're a big guy, you have a bigger metabolic rate. If you're a little guy, you have less. Uh, so if about 40% of your calories that you've taken in are used up by your basic metabolic rate, which is, Difficult to change, it can be changed, but uh, when they use starvation diets, that's dropped. So it makes the weight loss even more difficult. Okay, that's 40%. Then we have the thermic effect of food, that's about 20%. Remember what I said, if you eat mainly fat, 96% will be in your new belly, your buttocks, four hours. 4% yeah. use up metabolism, in other words, you didn't gain it. But if you eat nutrient-dense food, full of water, full of fiber, you might eat, say, a thousand calories of that, but only maybe 60% stays in your body, yeah. maybe 600 calories, because of fiber it goes out in the stool, for, uh, for example. Uh, and then we have activity of living. I call it AOL, it's a term I invented for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, John Levine, who wrote, um, uh, move, lose a little, lose a lot. Uh, very good book. He calls it n NEAT, Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenics, but mine's a little easier. AOL, Activity of Living, includes exercise. Uh, but you know, there's a secret to that. If you can increase your activity of living, say, at work, okay? Uh, use a treadmill desk or, or, uh, or stand-up desk. See, gravity affects all of us. Everything in life is determined by gravity, okay? Remember when the astronauts went to the moon, that was only 0.3% uh, gravity compared to Earth. They came back looking like storks. And uh, so, it, take advantage of gravity. And then you hear about sitting disease today. As we sit, we turn off the LPL enzyme in us, and that cuts sugar and fat metabolism in half. Mm -hmm. In half. Uh, so. Increased rates of obesity and vascular disease in people who sit all day. Sitting is deadly. They even say now, you, you sit for about five hours, like smoking a pack of cigarettes. The effects on your body, mm -hmm. okay? So activity of living. Keep some weights under your desk. Maybe at lunchtime, take a walk. Take along some of you know, makes 
you can talk while you're walking. The exercise of, <laughs> of the tongue and the mouth while you're talk, talking. No, it, companionship in a fellow traveler makes everything a little bit easier. I know for, uh, somebody that sits all day typing up my reports, but all these years, I noticed she took her girlfriend and walked the hospital every floor. Hmm. Yeah, year after year, and both of them, 120, hmm. 130 pounds. Yeah, wow. they, they walked it off. So they increased their activity of living at work. Then you don't have to go home necessarily, you don't join a gym. Remember we said earlier, only 3% of the people exercise regularly. Yeah, 3%, oh my gosh. So uh, if you increase your activity at work, like park their car far away, uh, walk at the lunchtime, you stand up, desk. maybe just when the phone rings, you stand up and talk. That's a big one right there, you know? And uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe have stand up meetings. I wish in the schools today, remember I'm for teaching kids in school, they should allow kids to stand up in class if they want to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yep. Stand up and listen to the lecture. Let them stand up and sit down or wh whatever. I think that'd be a wonderful thing to uh, teach uh, children. So what, I, what am I saying to you? Uh, to be healthy, uh, eat nutrient-dense food, okay? Maybe increase your AOL, your activity of living. At work, see, see what you can figure out at work to make it easier. Maybe even if you're having a big uh, board meeting, I know in this city, a, a lot of multimillionaires running big companies, uh, wonderful people, uh, uh, wonderful people, but they're very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna die young. They're gonna get amputations, they're gonna get strokes, and they're very educated people, but they're not participating in the healthcare. I try to teach them, but they're blind. You know, I'm sure you see that too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, so, but we're trying. So in summary, uh, uh, Dr. Ahmed, I, let me hear about at Cooper Farms a little bit about uh, your ex experience a little bit, in, sort of in summary, uh, at, at the farms with the pre-diabetics and diabetics. Uh, what are you doing about it? Well, we kind of motivate them to learn about this insulin resistance problem, mm -hmm. and then uh, kind of work with them individually, come up with a plan Mm -hmm. of low carb nutrient diet mm -hmm. and uh, uh, improve their exercise capability mm -hmm. and kind of follow up that uh, and I use the appropriate type of medicine because there are certain medicine uh, will control your sugar but it will make you fat. Yeah. So we want to avoid that and uh, for example metformin will be a good medicine which will help to lose weight also. So bring them in and kind of put them three things together. One is diet, behavioral change, as well as exercise and right kind of medicine. Yeah, you're, you're uh, educating them. Yes. It's about education. That's our responsibility. That's why we're here. We appreciate you listening. We have other shows. You can go to YouTube and see a lot of our other mm -hmm. shows. We have one every week on, on uh, diabetes. If you want to be seen in person, come to the Three Euros Pharmacy. Uh, and you can watch maybe 500 TV shows. You can pull up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You must participate in your healthcare, and you don't want prediabetes or diabetes. It's got 50, 70 diseases associated with it, from dementia to, to strokes and heart attacks and amputations, all avoidable. We're doing this because we love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you.